So it's been quite a while since I've talked wedding tech, but I thought it would be really useful for you guys. Now, a couple of years ago, I did a video on the wedding website um, platform called With Joy, which has had lots of views and I know has been extremely helpful for a lot of you. But I thought it'd be really handy to touch on wedding websites again and actually talk about what you need to include because, I mean, that's important, right? Hello, lovely couples, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. I provide a weekly dose of wedding planning goodness and digital downloads for the modern couple. So if you haven't already, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come and join us over at Instagram and TikTok at Bluebird underscore creative, where I provide a lot of real, raw, and just honestly, just a bit of fun. So come and join us over there. Anyway, guys, this week we are talking about wedding websites and yeah what to include on them because it's really important that you're giving the right facts and I think it's so easy to miss some of these things off of your list so let's go through it it doesn't need to be complicated it really really doesn't need to be complicated and how you work your website there's no one particular formula you know, somebody might decide to send an e-invite and that links to the wedding website for more information. And then they might have an RSVP on that. Somebody might decide to send an actual paper invite and then there's a link information that they have to then type in and find the website online. And they might have a paper RSVP, but the wedding website has more information. So it's totally totally different and that's just two options there's there's loads of random different options and different you know ways that you can do it but essentially the wedding website needs to just sort of have the basic facts so you want to have your couple's name on the wedding website so that they know that it's you it's you that's getting married and it's also very helpful to have the date that you're getting married and the location that you're getting married. I think it's also nice to have a picture of the two of you because that just makes it a bit more personal, doesn't it? Um, every website is slightly different. I think a landscape photo is usually what's required, but again, every platform is slightly different, so don't hold me to that one. In terms of important information, so you want to have, as I said, the location. It's also really handy to actually add a map on, and you can do that on some of the websites, it's pretty simple. Just so that it gives people like a really good idea of where you're going, because some of these wedding locations can be really remote and a bit confusing. So if you've actually given them the map, then that's really handy. Obviously giving the full address as well, as opposed to just the title of the venue, because again, then they can put it in their sat nav and so on. If it is particularly remote, or if it's a home address and you're having a marquee, it's probably also really helpful to write down some directions. So I would say have like a travel page so that it has all that information for your guests. And then it's really handy to put a transport information page onto the website. So you can provide local taxi information and telephone numbers, just different ways that people can make their way there, perhaps how close it is to the nearest train station and what train line is the closest one to the venue, sorry. And also, you know, you might have arranged some transport from one place to the other. So you might have a bus taking people from the ceremony to the reception and so on. So it's really good to actually put that information in there so people know. If you are staying somewhere that isn't local to where you live or where your guests live, you may have organised a minibus to collect people from their different accommodations in the morning and bring them over to the wedding ceremony. In which case, you're going to want to put that on there and let people know. It's also okay to say more information to follow so that people have to check back. That's absolutely fine to do that because you might not be able to put all the information on there at the point of sending the invites. Hopefully most of it will be on there, but you know, it, it is okay for people to have to check back. It's also great to have an accommodation page. Now we work with an amazing platform for wedding planners called That's The One, and they actually do have a solely accommodation page on their platform and we absolutely love it. Now you can choose different hotels in the area, you can have different price ranges and it's really good to just pop that on your wedding website. When we're using our platform that's the one and we give all our couples access to this so that they can book it, the team at that's the one are incredible. You can tell them the different price ranges that you want so that you want like low to me medium and high, tell them the venue, tell them that you want five different hotels or Airbnbs or whatever, they'll actually go out of their way and they'll research and source the best places for you, get better prices for you, 
build a web page that's attached to your website as such, it's an extra page, sorry. They'll build that for you, add it on, and guests can book via that. And you can also then see how many people have booked and, the, and other guests can see, right, well, there's four people staying at this hotel. Oh, do you know what? I think I'll stay there too, because at least there's a few of us staying there, which I just think is really, really amazing. So that's actually something that we provide for our couples via our planning platform. But again, you can use it on any website and just, but you would have to do the research yourself and pop it on there. And I think that that's really helpful. It's not a requirement, but I think it's really helpful to just do that for your guests if you know that there are people having to come quite away for your wedding. Then we have gift registries. So if you are, if you have a gift registry, whether it be the wedding present company, whether it be Amazon wedding gift lists, whether you are having a honeymoon fund, whatever it is that you are setting up, what's another one, Prozola, you need to link it onto your wedding website and have some information around that. Um, have a look online at some different wording that you can use so that it doesn't just say, this is what we want. Obviously, there's ways to word it. For example, if you'd like to give us a gift, then we've set up this gift registry um, and we'd be so grateful for a contribution. Um, I'm sure you can word that better. I've literally just said that out off the top of my head. But really handy to have that on there because people will want to buy you presents. And I think it's great to direct people in the right direction of what you'd actually like. So link that up there, put some wording around that and definitely have a page for that because people will be looking for that. And then finally, just any additional information. So you might want to put dress code on there if that's different to sort of your typical wedding. You know, if you're having cocktail dresses or if everyone has to dress in black and white or whatever it might be, I would definitely put that on there. You can also add in extra things about your story together, your engagement, you know, all those things you can add on if you want to, but they're not a requirement. I would say that the most important things are to have directions and uh, a map, travel information, accommodation, and obviously your gift registry. If you're using a website that allows to RSVP via the website, then obviously that needs to be on there as well. And if you are, again, using the RSVP on the website and you are having different food choices and need allergies and stuff, then obviously make sure that's all linked up. But I'm not gonna go into that today because that's a slightly different topic. Anyway, guys, super simple, but I just thought it was really important to point out those key kind of points for a wedding website because some of those can just so easily be forgotten and we don't want you to fall into that trap. So there you go my lovelies, I hope you found this video helpful, I'll be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness, until then have a great week!